welcome back to another video in this video we will install usb3 panel to this lenovo thinkstation e32 uh, it has already usb3 ports available on the front panel but this has some issue so uh, let us replace this sd card panel floppy panel with the usb3 front panel it also has four usb ports at the back and let us look at the uh, PCI Express slots available. So after removing, we got this uh, motherboard view. And here we have the PCI Express Gen 3 X16 and PCI Express X16 Gen 2. And the middle one is PCI Express X1 slot. this usb 3 has the connector that is located exactly at the back of this pci express 16 gen 3 slot so when i install this gpu this pci uh, sorry usb connector collides with uh, gpu like this so i if uh, this connector is inserted i am unable to install the gpu so i have to uh, solve this problem by uh, replacing this usb front panel so i have bought this usb 3 front panel which has two usb 3 ports and a 19 pin connector so this will be replaced with the SD card reader. Let us remove the front panel. So after removing it, we will be able to remove this SD card reader panel. So after pressing this lock, I am able to remove this SD card reader panel. This has this lock strip and a usb 2 panel <coughs> so we will <coughs> replace it with usb 3 front panel so let us first pass this cable and then we will screw this usb 3 front panel so let us align the screw hole and install it so it is easily installed now let us uh, reinstall this front panel so it is basically Stroking with the front panel, let us adjust it because it is uh, placed by only one screw. So that's it. So I have bought this <coughs> PCI Express USB 3 riser card. So this is the for low profile, and finally, here we have this PCI Express card so uh, this installs in PCI Express uh, X1 slot and it has a 19 pin USB 3 connector which we will uh, we'll install like this so let us first install it in our PCI Express X16 Gen 2 slot so you can install any PCI Express X1, X2, X3 up to X16 slot in uh, your PCI Express X16 slot. So let us connect it. Let us now add this GPU. So uh, I have this little mess of cables that are poorly managed. So I will manage it later so it's installed
Let us now install this side cover. So we check this uh, USB 3 port. So in Windows, I have already detected this. So let us check our drivers in the device manager. As you can see here, we have this uh, new installed USB 3 host controller drivers automatically installed. Let us now check this speed of this USB 3 port. Wow, I am getting 143 MB per second, which is approximately 1.1 Gbps if I convert it into bits per second. So yes i'm getting 1.152 gbps basically this uh, usb 3 port 5 gbps port so if you like the video subscribe my channel goodbye